How China's BYD Overtook Tesla How did China's BYD become the world's top electric car maker, surpassing Tesla in 2023? Back in 2011, BYD was considered a joke, but things have changed dramatically. Now BYD is number one in the electric vehicle game, leaving Tesla behind. Even Elon Musk acknowledges that BYD is a strong competitor. It's like the story of rapper Drake, who started from the bottom and rose to the top. Originally making budget phone batteries, BYD transformed into the best-selling electric car manufacturer. The big question now is, how long can they stay on top? For the first time, BYD sold more battery-only cars than Tesla in late 2023, with 526,000 versus 484,000. This was not entirely surprising, given that they outproduced Tesla for the second year in a row. But for the first time they won, the count included both BYD's electric and hybrid vehicles. At the IAA in Munich in 2023, BYD was proudly showing off. Now they're beating Tesla with only electric cars. BYD, which stands for Build Your Dreams, started small in 1995 with just 20 employees. Fast forward to today and it's a giant in the electric car world. Founded by chemist Wang Xuanfu in China, BYD initially made batteries for mobile phones just as smartphones became popular. They thrived by supplying big companies like Motorola and Nokia. Wang Xuanfu, who was already into battery tech as a student, took a big step in 2003. BYD got into the car business by acquiring Xi'an Chi Chuan Automobile, marking the beginning of BYD Auto. The F3, its first combustion engine vehicle, which resembled the Toyota Corolla, launched in 2005. However, it was significantly cheaper than a Corolla. By 2008, BYD had entered the electric car market with the F3DM. It was the world's first mass-produced plug-in hybrid vehicle, a flop at the time. Still, Warren Buffett's $232 million investment in 2008 fueled BYD's EV aspirations. In 2020, BYD introduced the Blade battery, an LFP or lithium iron phosphate battery that is less expensive than other types of lithium ion batteries used in EVs. BYD's Blade was considered more compact and safer, a smart move. The Blade battery was used in the Han, BYD sporty sedan, as well as succeeding models. BYD's EV sales increased from about 131,000 in 2020 to 1 1.57 million the following year. China's Electric Vehicle Domination BYD, like NEO before it, is looking to the global markets, particularly Europe, where three of its models will be launched. So it's no coincidence that BYD has been chosen as the official EV sponsor of the Euro 2024 football competition. That might be another nail in the coffin for the German car sector, as this was long considered Volkswagen's golden ticket. Everyone's talking about BYD right now. The boom in Chinese electric vehicles, including those made by BYD, is largely thanks to strong support from the Chinese government. The government has given big tax breaks to the EV industry, helping BYD become a major player in China with a whopping 35% market share, way ahead of Tesla's 7.8%. BYD managed to outprice Tesla by taking advantage of these subsidies, making their cars more affordable. But there's another trick up their sleeve. Instead of focusing on fancy cars like Tesla, BYD targeted the easier-to-reach goals, making electric fleets and buses. This approach allowed them to produce a ton of batteries in a cost-effective way. The success in battery development has become a game-changer, giving BYD a big edge over American and European rivals. Unlike many of their competitors, BYD doesn't rely on others for most of the parts of their cars. They make a large chunk of the car components themselves. This self-reliance helps them avoid extra expenses, delays, and other issues that have tripped up companies like Tesla. So, BYD's strategy of making affordable EVs and focusing on buses and fleets has been key to their impressive success. BYD calls this vertical integration. BYD is actively securing lithium deposits to strengthen their vertical integration. Their successful formula looks set to continue. To stay ahead, BYD needs to grow beyond its home turf, and that's not going to be easy. The demand for their cars in Southeast Asia and Australia is rising, especially in Thailand, where they already have a lot of customers. But breaking into Europe is a tougher challenge. The Chinese car industry is pushing hard to sell cars there, which is like making some people in Europe uncomfortable. The European Union is checking to see if Chinese electric cars like the ones BYD makes are playing fair. 
They are worried about the Chinese government helping these companies too much with subsidies. If things don't go well, it could mean higher taxes on BYD's cars in Europe. So BYD is facing some hurdles as it tries to become the king of the car world, not just at home, but around the globe. However, this is a two-edged sword that might do even greater harm to European vehicle makers. BYD plans to develop a new electric car manufacturing in Hungary. This is the first Chinese business to produce automobiles in Europe. The inquiry seeks to persuade businesses, including BYD, to establish operations in the EU. As a reaction, BYD intends to construct a facility in Hungary. The EU is also attempting to develop its own battery supply chain, addressing issues such as procuring crucial raw materials locally. And, as for the United States, it's an even more difficult market to crack. Due to tensions between China and the US, BYD is adopting a more cautious approach to accessing this market. BYD has been supplying electric buses to the United States for years, but it has not entered the vehicle market there. It appears that this will continue for the time being, as the United States now levies a 27.5% tax on Chinese automobile imports. Tesla's long-awaited low-cost EV has yet to arrive. However, it might give a solution to the low-cost EVs that have inundated the market from China. It is critical for Tesla to also provide a car in the cheaper category, a small-sized automotive sector that begins at, say, 25,000 euros. And we are confident Tesla is working hard on such a vehicle. According to reports, the Model 2 will be built and available next year. So while BYD presently wears Tesla's crown, this is a marathon rather than a sprint. Volkswagen as a car group is also strong, but there is a gap between these two, and I would say that BYD would lead the electric car ranking for the next few years. The most interesting thing is less about the battle between Tesla and BYD, and more about what the big established manufacturers that have 100 years of history of making cars are going to do to catch these upstarts. So while these two EV behemoths compete, German companies such as Volkswagen appear to sit on the sidelines, hoping for scraps. It is evident that if German businesses want to compete with BYD and Tesla, they must focus on innovation and pricing. German manufacturers should at least be as inventive as Tesla and Chinese competitors. And if they are not more inventive than Tesla and China, it is obvious that they cannot be more costly. But might another Chinese brand emerge from nowhere and repeat BYD's success, like the automaker Geely? Geely is a really fascinating global player for me in the future business because they have a very diverse product portfolio and we can see that they are pretty innovative in the electromobility space. So I would also consider the Geely group to be a key contender in the future. We are witnessing the beginnings of an EV pricing war in global markets as traditional brands respond and new competitors compete for dominance. This benefits the consumers, of course, and it looks that EV sales will continue to climb. The complexity of the geopolitical scene will make it difficult to navigate this road, unless competing automakers quickly embrace innovation, dethroning BYD appears to be a hard battle. Hey, please leave your opinions in the comments, and remember to subscribe to our channel.